What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. <clears throat> I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. And welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cap to Sag, everybody in between. Don't use the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. I want to say real quick, thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,960 subscribers. So, thanks you guys. Love you guys for all the love and support. And hashtag Leo Gang with the exclamation point in all caps. That is, um, that channel is moving nicely too. So, anybody doesn't know, I have a second channel. Hashtag all caps Leo Gang, L-E-O-G-A-N-G -E with the exclamation point. Um, if you guys don't know about that, you want to check it out. It's focused towards Leo readings or cross watchers with anybody with Leo aspected in their chart um, or cross watchers. Um, if anybody wants to check that channel out, but it's growing too. So thanks so much. Um, I received another channeling. Um, so I'm going to deliver it. It's a man. I like the new energetic space. Remember when I promoted that reading by um, Chiron Intu Intuition, which his channel is growing nicely too. I like it a lot. And he's a wonderful, he's very knowledgeable. You can tell he's real, he's really, he's high in the spiritual realm. And he, um, he's a hard worker and he keeps it real. His channel's growing really nicely. And I love that. I love to see people get what they deserve. And in this aspect, he deserves everything wonderful um, in life. And that's just the truth. But anyways, that reading that he did, the reason I promoted it, which one of my lo lovely subscribers sent it to me, and thanks so much, but about high priestess intuition moving into new um, energy, which there's many high priestesses. Um, so he wasn't technically copyright infringing me um, because there's many high priestesses with high priestess intuition, and that's just the truth. Because um, us high priestesses, if you're a true high priestess, you have high priestess intuition, and that's one of the reasons why I named my channel that. And that's just the truth. But anyways, that reading resonated with me so strongly. I've actually promoted that one and another one of his, but videos on here. But it, it's really resonating very strongly with me um, because I can tell through the channel messages. I mean, and that's just the truth. So shout out to Chiron Intuition, just saying. Okay, so we're going to do it. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, an emperor. I heard a map, and I've been pulling in a lot of masculine emperor energy. There can be femme emperors, and that's just the truth. Boss women. Um, I'm a I'm an empress, empress, emperor with my channel. I mean, I'm a sole proprietorship. It's just me um, doing this business. Doing this business. So I mean, I'm a female emperor, empress, um, and that's just the truth. But I've been pulling in a lot of masculine emperors. So, like, people with female parts, masculine energies. But emperor status, manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, business owner. Um, and I'm just being for real. A lot of them <laughs> recently. So, I feel you guys watch, sirs. And I'm just being for real, for real. I think, uh, in fact, well, yeah, yeah. I absolutely think you watch. Or you're about to get sent this video. Or it comes across on your timeline, or it comes across in the YouTube analytic feed, or what have you, what have you. Just saying. <clears throat> Anyways, the channel message I received was um, masculine. I heard a masculine emperor in. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. A masculine. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Ooh. I think somebody doesn't want me to speak. Somebody doesn't want me to speak because um, it's like I got a frog in my throat. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, somebody doesn't want me to speak about this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyways. Just saying, just saying. Message, gotta get the message out as a channeler. Don't shoot the messenger, literally or metaphorically. Gotta get the message out. Okay, so the channel message I received was a masculine emperor. Um, I heard water sign and air sign energy. So they're in the emperor energy. I just, before I deliver the rest of it, I just want to clarify this. They're in the emperor energy. So emperor energy upright is a wonderful energy to be in. Like I said, it's, I heard specifically masculine, so they are masculine, but 
or they're t taking on the masculine energy if they're a fan. But they exhibit leadership, manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, business owner. They exhibit leadership, get her done skills. Um, I mean, poise, grace, leadership. Um, I mean, all the qualities one would exhibit because you don't just to exhibit leadership skills you gotta have so much other than just leadership skills to be a true emperor or empress and that's just the truth you gotta it's gotta be the full package and that's just the truth to be successful it's gotta be a full package but whoever this is i feel they're the full i feel they're the full package or they're manifesting themselves to be the full package um i heard um Water sign and air sign energy, so they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, 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 Jupiter chart. How that resonates. But I heard they uh, have secret feelings for a feminine energy that um, is in their infermented space. For one in their current infermented space, for one in their past infermented space. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, infermented, infermented means on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. So whoever this femme energy is, they don't live with them. They don't work with them. Um, or if they work with them, I think it's a different facility or site or workspace, if that makes sense, um, because it's infermented. In, on and off, on and off, in and out, in and out. Not all the time. They don't see this person all the time. Um, for for some of them, it's current intermittent space, so currently on and off, on and off, like seeing them every now and then, seeing them every now and then, seeing them every now and then. For some, it's past, seeing them every now and then, 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 if that makes sense. Um, but I heard they're gaining feelings for this person. They're gaining feelings for them. And I heard um, many series of chain events is going to occur one of these masculine emperors is about to go through a divorce um, and they are very serious about this feminine energy and they're about to make a lot of things right behind the scenes with her because she was seriously wrong in the past so very interesting so you plug it in how it resonates is it is interesting how the energetic spaces change um and in this sense there's a lot of shifting going on here but it sounds like for everybody's betterment because I've been in a miserable marriage before. I have personally, trust me. I mean, nothing against my ex-husband now um, because we've been divorced a long time, a long time. So, you know, water on the bridge when we were young. Um, so, you know, I don't harbor any resentment against him with the marriage because it was a long time ago. I just want my kids properly taken care of and what's best for my kids. And that's just period, point blank. But what I'm saying is, I understand miserable marriages because I have been in one, been legally married one time before. I get it. But they're currently in a marriage. At least one of them is. One of the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Emperor Energies. They're in masculine. They're in a current marriage. Um, but I heard one is about to go through a divorce. So their energy shifts soon. Whether, they, whether they're going to precipitate this divorce or their spouse precipitates the divorce, I'm presuming both people will be willing to sign the marriage. Uh, I'm sorry, the divorce decree. I'm presuming. But I heard they're about to be through the middle, um, going through a divorce. So, I mean, whether, like I said, whether they precipitate it or the other spouse precipitates it and they both agree to sign the divorce decree, um, they're about to be going through a divorce. But it sounds like it's best in this situation because they're not happy in this marriage. They're not happy. And one of them, or at least two of them, the Cancer Pisces Scorpio and the Gemini Libra Aquarius, is gaining feelings for a femme energy. One of them in their past intermittent space, so in the past they saw them every now and then, every now and then. One of them in their current inter energetic space, they're seeing them every now and then, they're seeing them every now and then. So it sounds like it's going to work out the best for everybody. And one of these emperors, whether it's the Gemini Libra Aquarius or the Cancer Pisces Scorpio Emperor, um, I heard they're going to start making it right behind the scenes with one of these femme energies. 
either one of the past intermittent space they used to see or one of the current intermittent space they do see now, making it right behind the scenes for her because she was wrong, severely wrong in the past. So it sounds like the energetic spaces are about to start balancing out is what I'm trying to say. Because their energetic space is uneven and sounds like miserable. Um, some of them might be in third party situationships or sneaky links. I didn't hear they were, but they might be. Because sometimes that's what happens when you're miserable in a face-to-face, -face social media, um, friendly um public friendly marriage that's what happens when it's fake as crap is what i'm trying to say but in reality behind the scenes you probably haven't slept with that person for 50 million years or ever slept with them well you have to sleep with the person to consummate the marriage but <clears throat> i'm just saying i mean um that's what happens when the, it's fake is what i'm trying to say when you try to put on such a huge false facade and people can tell you're miserable or they can smell you're miserable or they can just feel you're miserable or they just know you're miserable because they see you out with your other person or don't ever see you with your spouse. You know what I'm saying? And I heard she was severely, <clears throat> there's at least two of these. Let me go get some water. I'm sorry. Uh, somebody don't let me speak on this. Let me go get some water. Okay, I'm sorry. Come on, buddy. Come on. <clears throat> but yeah. So it sounds like it's going to even the energetic space out for both of these people is what I'm trying to. For everybody, actually. For the... Okay, for the emperor, they're not hairy, but it's like... It, they're really not. I just shaped it, but it looks like a shadow thing. Um, for the emperor, because he's ma miserable in his current marriage, and yeah, he'll probably take a money hit, maybe, unless he can prove infidelity or something. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm not these people's situation, but he might. He probably will take a money hit, probably. I mean, he makes a lot of money. He's the freaking emperor, or he's a trust fund baby, or he, um, yeah. I'm thinking he's a trust fund baby or he's built his generational wealth over the years through business or businesses or um, employment or something. How that resonates. But, I mean, he's stable financially here. And I'm just being for real. Whether he did it himself or his family did it for him or what have you, what have you. And that's just the truth. But my point is, <clears throat> he's not happy. So... It sounds like it's about to work out better for everybody, is what I'm trying to say. Sounds like it's about to work out better for everybody. No, I'm just being serious. By the way, you guys, I will not be on here Sunday evening, uh, approximately 2, 1.30 to 2 p.m. to about 9 or 10 p.m. I have a class I have to um, take uh, for the city, um, city diversion program. For that disturb, disturbing the peace charge I acquired in October of 2021, um, it's my first class of two, so um, I will not be on here tomorrow night uh, at all at all. So don't expect any videos uploaded, um, period, because I will be in the class. So just to let everybody know, okay, um, this Sunday and uh, the next Sunday. So just to let y'all know, okay, okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. But yeah, so anyways, this is the emperor energy. So I heard it's a water sign and air sign. They can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Earth, and Midham, and Jupiter charts. Emperor ener energy is indicative of Aries energy, but, it, you know, anybody can be an emperor as long as they grow and manifest their selves that way. And I heard specifically an, a water sign and air sign masculine. So, but this is the energy they're coming in. Now, when you go into Emperor Reversed, that's severe controlling, domineerism, 
entrapment, um, abusive energy. And I didn't hear they were in reverse energy, so thank God for that. Um, you don't want to entrap, abuse, um, exploit, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, anybody. And, th and that's just the truth, you know. Okay. Many, 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 many behind the scenes situations are about to occur here. Many. About to really balance the scales. There were severe wrongdoings here in the past. About to make it very right so many people can be, be and live happy. Free willingly. Okay, well, that's really beautiful. I heard many, 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 many wrongdoings were done here in the past, behind the scenes, sneaky behind the scenes in the past. Um, and it sounds like, well, there's at least two, a water sign and an um, air sign. There might be 50 water signs. There might be 200 air signs for all I know, emperors. But I feel for some of you guys, you are the water sign emperor or the air sign emperor. However, that resonates and applies to Only you know if you're about to do this um, for this um, them energy either currently in your in intermittent space or in the past in your intermittent space. However, that resonates in plus are only you know the actions, only you know how she was wronged in the past, only you know the actions you're going to take to help amend the wrong or wrongs done to her in the past. Only you know that. But I heard basically a cry pun, a mini series of chain events are about to occur. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Booker. Crap ton of mini-series of chain of events are about to occur. You are about to help make these right behind the scenes. So whatever action or actions you're going to take. But it's going to help her out. And it's going to help you out. Um, I think for some you're romantically. I heard you have feelings for her. Like secret feelings. So I think you're romantically interested in her. Now whether you act on those feelings or not. That is up to you. That is. Only you know if you're going to do that. But, you, I mean, you may act on them. You may not is what I'm trying to say. But whether you act on them or not or tell her how you feel or what have you, at least you're doing the right things behind, uh, right thing or things behind the scenes. And that's just the truth. I don't know. He's just sitting down there randomly on the coal, coal floor, wood floor. Like, that's... Maybe he's hot. I don't know. Action. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. Action. Number 17 can be very significant. Number one's life. Number 17. That's not good. Lots of action is about to occur here behind the scenes. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And for one of these emperors, they will open up to this person through many series of chain of events. Okay, I heard lots of action will occur behind the scenes. Lots and lots and lots. And, um, for one of these emperors, they will open up to one of these femme energies um, through many series of chain events. So it hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming, um, but action as far as, and, uh, look, and it's going to create balance. Storm warning is going to piss people, other people off, but it doesn't matter if it pisses other people off. What matters is it's balancing out in the energetic space. I heard basically it's going to make, it's going to balance out more people's lives then more people that don't want this to occur. But it sounds like the people that don't want it to occur benefited it off of it. It's a kind of dark, sinister, behind-the-scenes way in the past. But in this situation, it's basically bringing things to the light 
and balancing and evening the scales with balance energy with the Libra energy. Um, so people can live happy, harmonious, out there in the free will and public life, happy. I mean, you should be free to, you know, date who you want to date if you're legally single. You should be free to um, go visit who you want to visit as long as you're not sneaking around and, and messing around and, you know, what have you, what have you. Of course, that requires trust, respect, honesty, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you got to find somebody that incorporates those values. But my point is you should, people should be able to do those kind of things in a happy, harmonious kind of way with their money, with their time, with their energy. And if they are legally single, they should be able to date. They should be able to um, put their feelings out there. They should be able to um, ex express, in my opinion, you know, um, however that resonates, okay? But there's at least two of you fem energies if you fit up down here. I feel for some of you guys, you're emperors and you watch my channel. Like I said, we almost have like 15,000 people or something like that on here, or 14 or something, 14. We almost have 14,000 people on here. So you really have to, um, I mean, we're creeping up pretty quick on it. So you just have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? But um, kudos to whoever this is for, because you're about to really make the energetic space correct. Um, and I, and I love that. I love that. So just saying, um, for, if you fit in down here, fem energies, you have interacted with these emperor S type people. Um, I feel you, you have to plug these people in your own life. How they resonate water sign, emperor, air sign, emperor. Um, for some, you're interacting with them right now on and off. For some, it's in the past on and off. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit and you emperors, I'm sure you know who you are. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else. Our pregnant Libra is very significant in this. There's about to be some huge changes here. Huge. And one of these pregnant Libras wants to get an abortion, but through many series of shame events, it will not happen. It just will not happen. They're going to try and make it very hard to happen, but it's not going to happen. Universal force energy. Okay, I heard a pregnant Libra is very significant in here with this situation. So some kind of pregnant Libra in energy, Fem Libra. They could have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Real Fem, and Hamid Jupiter charts. I heard um, the pregnant Libra apparently is prompting a lot of this, making it right and making it right and making it right. Um, whoever this pregnant Libra is, I heard she wants a, an abortion. Either she wants the abortion or somebody else wants the abortion. And I heard she's going to try really hard to get the abortion. but I heard it's not going to happen. As much as she wants it to happen, it's not going to happen. I heard through universal force energy. There is going to be such strange things that are going to start occurring. Missed appointments, roadblocks, physical roadblocks, delay, delay, delay. It's not going to happen. Okay. I heard there's going to be very, very strange things that's going to happen. Roadblocks, delay, 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 delay after delay, and some kind of missed appointment or appointments. I heard it's not going to happen. So as much as she wants it to happen or somebody else wants this uh, to happen with this um, abortion energy, um, I heard it's not going to happen. And um, I think that could be the storm warning too. Um, she wants to terminate a child abort a child, but it's not going to happen. Um, or somebody wants her to terminate the child. Um, how does that resonate? Okay. 
There's about to be huge chaos in her life. She is going to try and try and try and try and try to get this abortion. But she's had many abortions in the past. And it's not going to happen this time. It's just not. Okay, I heard she's going to try and try and try to get this abortion. But I heard it's not going to happen. I heard she's got many abortions in the past. Whoever this Libra is, pregnant Libra energy is. I heard she's got many abortions in the past. So she's... I don't know if it's illegal abortion clinics or legal abortion clinics, but however that resonates, she's used to the abortion clinic. She's had many of them in the past. Action. Lots of uh, abortions. But I heard um, as much as she's going to try this time, it's not going to happen. But it sounds like it's universally meant for it not to happen. It's definitely universally meant for it not to happen. It's definitely universally meant for it not to happen. Okay. So... And someone is about to get such a huge ass wake-up call. They're about to see something in their 3D reality very soon. That's about to show them um, the universe is real, God is real, and the spiritual messages are real. Oh, my God. And someone's about to get such a huge wake-up call soon um, in their own 3D world. So the world they live in, everyday world they live in. Something's going to happen in their own world that... I think they didn't believe in psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages or the spiritual realm or us spiritual realm beings delivering channel messages to um, our people. Um, but I think somebody's prophecy is about to come true. Somebody's prophecy or spiritual download or channeling or something's about to come true. Um, or several of them is going to come true to where they actually believe in this. Sounds like they mocked a spiritualist or they mock the spiritual realm or they mock spirituality or they mock um um um, prop, um prophetesses or prophets or what have you what have you in the past but um they're about not to because it's about to um come true or they might have mocked psychics how that resonates but something's about to come true action in their own world to where they're going to realize we don't get on here for shits and giggles. We get on here to deliver the downloads, period, point blank, period. Um, whoever this is, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, uh, Bill, I'm pulling you guys in, you in, whoever you are. I think you mock spiritualists, you mock um, psychics, you mock prophets, you mock prophetesses, you mock the spiritual realm. But you're about to realize somebody, whether it's mine, channelings, or somebody else's channelings are coming true or they're about to come true. Uh, how that resonates. In a huge way. In a huge way. About to come true in a huge way. Okay. All right. Love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.